Good morning. Well, it's already past 12, so good evening, good afternoon. We are in uh, Columbus, Georgia. That's the Chattahoochee River down there, and the other side is Alabama. So we are right in the border between Georgia and Alabama. Uh, just uh, spending the Sunday before uh, Labor Day. Labor Day here in America is next to is Monday. We are a couple of miles away from Alabama. We just came back from South Carolina, spent a couple of night resting a little bit and just going back again outside again. But this is not the place I want to go. We have another destination to go before this, so I'm just waiting for 12.30 to come in. And I will show you what is that about a little bit later. Yeah, I found out the place from another YouTuber. Shout out to Dan Vader. And I just wanted to make sure I, I want to see it myself. I've never seen that place before, so I still got a chance to there's some places that's a part of the river walk it's just too late to go out for a walk but uh, I already ate so I you know burn a little bit of that lunch I forgot to mention we are uh, this pipe is this side of the river is an hour uh, and the other side is an hour before so for instance over here is 11, 12 o'clock down there is 11 so it is uh, 80 90 degrees so middle of the day I said before just uh, we should get rid of the food of the stuff at the mall, the peach tree mall. Got some Thai food. They served me out really good. And uh, yeah, I just needed to walk a little bit just to get that food running through the system. So I just uh, sitting in the car waiting for the time to run. So I said, well, as I mentioned before, um, we're gonna, this is not the final destination, we're gonna go to that place uh, a little bit later, the next 20 minutes. Just gonna walk a little bit. That's the outdoors of the Civil War Naval Museum. Near the town of Columbus, and we were in the river walk. We drove down here, it's a 10 minute drive. Give me a few hours and the prices. Let's close the just few days of the year. There you go. Right there, National Civil War Naval Museum. That's on cannons. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of earlier time period uh, exhibitions. Is the place to go. Uh, the noise you see, you hear, is a baseball park nearby, and they they're having a game today. Just gonna throw this uh, trash. In a good place before I get in and by getting in I mean I'm just gonna uh, probably take some pictures but uh, uh, if you want to see a more 
in-depth look at these places it's like the Adanovators uh, video probably gonna put it in the description Mr. Adanovator did a full tour of this place so I'm not gonna repeat what he did I'm just gonna see it by myself it kind of activated some curiosity about this place so I'm just gonna go check it out and uh, again I watched something that really caught my attention, I'm just gonna share it with you. Alright. Without anything else, I find nothing to say uh, outside of what you're gonna see inside. Have a good day, safe travels. See you guys in the next episode. Bye. USS Hartford. Let's see what's inside here. This is typical look of uh, what he uses hard for. <laughs> you got me, you got me. This is the captain's uh, cabin, I guess. Looks very elegant. We just walk from the mess hall, I guess. Beautiful. Alright, let's see with the pictures. CSS Arkansas flag. Sheet us here. I will have to make some clarifications. The last ship we saw in the video is the CSS Jackson, and it was not sunk at all. But basically, what they happened was um, it was release at the very end of the civil war and uh, union decided to sink it uh, because uh, these ships were basically designed to ram against wooden ships wooden vessels uh, during combat so it, it pretty much was like uh, what we we'll call today uh, earlier version of a torpedo it was a man torpedo pretty much so it ram against uh, wooden ships because it was covered in iron so what we saw there was basically the skeleton the underside of that ship and the top was supposed to be uh, iron uh, that was molded to, to fit in on top of the ship so it probably was it was a very heavy probably heavy probably slow ship but some so somehow it, it, they make it work um i i, I believe the the heat itself of the south will have been unbearable so I don't know how they, they managed to have all that crew inside that ship. So yeah, that was my clarification of what I saw inside the museum. Uh, highly recommended. Um, there's a lot of things in there that I didn't show uh, in video. Again, if you want to see more of it, please, please uh, see the innovators video or come down here if you live in Georgia. Come down to this museum. They do a lot of good stuff in there, so uh, check it out. And thank you so much for watching. Say travels. Have a good one.
course made in Columbus here in Columbus.